Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 6 before going ahead with part 7. First in case of linear expansion, even for area expansion we have something called coefficient of area expansion. This coefficient of area expansion tells us degree of area expansion divided by the change in temperature. Now it will be easier for you to understand because it will be on the same lines as that of linear expansion. So in this case, so in this case what would be area expansion? Area expansion would be the change in area divided by initial area. So this is area expansion with respect to temperature that means this divided by delta t this would become coefficient of area expansion as i said it should be denoted by alpha and the subscript should be a so it is denoted by alpha a now we'll talk of the third kind of expansion that is the volume expansion expansion in volume due to increase in temperature where there is an increase in both length breadth as well as height Consider any object, for example, a metal box, which has both length, width, as well as height. If you heat it, it will expand in all its dimensions. So there would be a net increase in volume in this case. So now again, we'll quickly talk about coefficient of volume expansion. It is the degree of volume expansion divided by the change in temperature. So volume expansion is nothing but the change in volume divided by the original volume. This divided by the change in temperature. So this would be the coefficient of volume expansion. So it is denoted by alpha v. Value of alpha v is characteristic of the substance. That means even for volume expansion, it varies from substance to substance. Alpha V, that is coefficient of volume expansion, also varies with temperature. Now, you can see the variation with temperature in this graph. If suppose temperature is along x-axis and alpha V, that is coefficient of volume expansion, is along y-axis, then we can see that alpha V varies with temperature initially. At low temperatures, it varies linearly. But after that, there is a non-linear behavior and again at higher temperatures, the value of alpha V becomes almost constant. So this is how alpha V varies with temperature. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.